Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna do another octopus, but this week we're gonna do it a little different. It's gonna be a little bit different than I've done any of my previous paintings because I'm finally gonna do a background. So, um, I've been infatuated with clouds lately, so look to see more clouds in the next few uh, weeks. And of course the octopus, I think that I'm getting really good at it. Um, side note, I've been using a sketch pad to like really practice a lot of my techniques before I put them to canvas because everything that you've seen has been straight up like maybe a little bit of a doodle and then put straight to canvas so I'm hoping that's gonna make the paintings a little bit better let me know what you guys think in the comments all of the music <sighs> all the music is gonna be my music I guess and um, let's just get in the video So as we get into the painting, like I said, I have been on this cloud kick. So I did the sky first with the, with the greenish teal type color because I wanted to kind of stick to a greenish teal and orangish red uh, color scheme for this one. <laughs> Going back to my dedicated color schemes, but I, think, I, I thought it would really makes sense here and um, I really enjoy the way that it comes out but anyway I get it into doing my clouds you're gonna see that I go over it a whole bunch of times just because this is like my first time painting clouds I watch a few tutorials on it but you know it, that's nothing like applying it and I think these clouds ended up coming out pretty good but there's a whole lot of uh, room for improvement to say the least you guys let me know what you think So as we get into the clouds beginning to like take a form and a life of their own, I thought it was really important to make the bottom part of the painting dark and then the light part at the top, like the light is coming through the clouds. And I really tried to pay very close attention. I did it take like three times anyway. I tried to pay attention to the light sources. Uh, this is a lot more like technical and I'm, I wanna put more thought process into my paintings to make them make sense. So you'll see that the sun is kind of going down and the moon is coming up. So I wanted to, like that's why the gradient from the dark to the light with the teal and then the clouds have the light parts just on the tip as we get in to parts to come. <laughs> to get into doing the um, the octopus like doing the outline for the octopus um, I did a pencil sketch first on the octopus <laughs> I posted it on my Instagram as well but you'll see this right here is what I was going for when I um, started this painting so I had the rough idea already down and it made it a lot easier when I go in to do my outline of it because I have kind of a firm grasp on where everything is supposed to go. You'll even see I still end up changing up some of the tentacles at the bottom, but um, that's what it's about. It's about the process, right? Alright, 
so as I'm getting into filling in the octopus, like the skin, not the under part of the tentacles, I did a really light orange-ish red and I thought that it looked cool but it really didn't pop the way that I wanted it to. So for one of the first times ever, I really, really thought it was important to redo all of the skin. So that's coming in the future. You're gonna wonder why I'm painting over what I've already painted. That's why it just didn't look good to me. So I wanted to go ahead and do that. Also, I wanted to make sure that I was taking advantage of the way that paints work and that's layers. So having that lightish orangish layer underneath the darker orangish reds that I ended up putting in later on, you'll see really helped. I could tell that uh, as the paint went on and as the paint dried that there was some uh, there was something behind having that bottom layer so I'm definitely gonna explore that a lot more as well So as we get into the crown, I painted that with the gold and I thought it looked great. Same as the halo that I did on the MF Doom painting last week, I thought that that gold really complemented the uh, picture really well when it's just a taste. But as I finished the crown, I was up to like, you know what, it would look sweet if the octopus also had some little gold spots on him with along with the other spots. And I think that that ended up coming out super dope. So that was kind of my, my thought process while you see me do the crown and just think like, let's put some more gold in the painting. And I am so glad that I did because the final product ended up coming out so much sweeter with the little gold accents and the, and the uh, <laughs> green lantern symbol that I have like tattooed on the octopus's head and then the spots and then the crown. I thought it was dope. Uh, guys, let me know what you think about having a crown on the octopus. I thought that that was pretty sweet. This King Octopus out here. <laughs> Alright guys, we're just gonna wrap it on up with some acrylic marker and um, I think this piece came out really sweet. I feel like it's a level up to my style and it's really ushering in something new. I've got some new ideas, more octopuses. If you guys don't like the octopi, then don't know what to tell you because I'm definitely honing in on that skill. So more of that to come as well as more clouds. Uh, peace and all the love and let's just wrap this guy up. <laughs> Alright guys, that's gonna do it for another video. Thank you so much for coming out. This painting was awesome. I really enjoy painting this and I really feel like I'm in the right direction towards uh, developing. Like it's been a while since I really felt like I've been developing uh, a style and with the sketch pad, with doing the background, with uh, the octopus getting better, I feel like the tentacles are looking better because I feel like they've always uh, looked a little bit off, but you know, we are learning and it is a great fun process learning all of this stuff, guys. Thank you so, so, so much for coming out for another video. I love all of you guys so much and we're going to keep this outro short because... Fucking dinner time. I'm about to get my fucking eat on real quick. Been a long day at work. Um, love you guys and I will catch you in the next one.